I drove all the way here with a grenade attached to the ramp, wondering why people were passing me. Do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. Just when all hopes seem lost, message of a new discovery to an unknown old great world. Frick Buddha Maker here, boys, coming to you live all the way from my buddy's scrapyard. Good morning. I'm in the upper field picking up the trailer, and it seems we've got a turkey. And some babies. They're there somewhere. There they are, they're kind of cute. Alright you churchies! It is 7 o'clock in the morning right now and I'm on my way out of town to pillage a V8 from a 2005 Chevrolet Express van. Yeah, we're going to pick up a 4.8 and uh, I won't do many clips until we get there because I want to save battery power for the big demolition. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I am a car killer. On the road again. I can't wait to get on that road again. Pillaging the it's with my dad is what I like to do. I can't wait to get on that road again. Ah, oh, great! I'm not sure if this means that we're about to be stopped by the train. No, it does not. The train's going this way, and if you look right here in this parking lot, that's where the garage sale was when my dad bought his. Uh, $10 engine stand. Well, we just missed the content. Here we go. We're almost there. I'm super excited. It's like quarter after eight. Sunday morning right now. And uh, this is what I'm doing with my day. Today, we are killing this van. That's right, we're getting a V8 out of that sucker. As you can see, Bull of the Woods is Bull of the Scrapyard right now. Things are just a flying. Just like the old days, like a week ago when things were just a flying. <laughs> yes, you've seen it here, folks. Bull of the Woods just threw a propane tank. <laughs> Out of my room. That's right, we have no time for games. We need to move all this crap and start tearing that van apart. We are taking the 4.8 liter out of it. That's a 2005 Chevrolet Express. And we'll get back to you when something interesting happens. Alley oop. <laughs> All right, so this here is the 4.8 liter Vortec. She's not a bad engine. We're gonna take as much of it, the wiring and the computers as we possibly can. Ooh, I wonder if that new battery comes with the engine. <laughs> All right, so we've been here about, I don't know, 45 minutes and we are humming right along. And my dad came up with an ingenious way to load this engine on the trailer. And then we noticed I drove all the way here with a grenade attached to the ramp, wondering why people were passing me. Whoops. Uh, don't stay behind this lad. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, a grenade? Yeah, a grenade would be helpful to get this engine out in time. There's pretty much nothing left except for engine mounts and exhaust manifold bolts holding this sucker in. And then we get to rip her out and go home. Anyhow, uh, I haven't been shooting much footage because I haven't been having much fun. I've been getting stung. I got stung five times already. There's bees in that trailer right there, which is why the hole is stuffed with a rag. And there's bees in this excavator right here. And uh, yeah, it's been not a whole lot of fun. Anyhow, I'm gonna save some battery power so when we yoink the sucker out and plop her onto the trailer, we don't miss the shot. Here we are. I had to take the intake off the top so that we could gain two inches to lift it up and over the engine mounts and there was literally not even a half an inch gap. As you can see my dad had just a brilliant friggin plan. We're gonna be out of here in no time. So he's got the trailer backed up under the frame. We're gonna take the chain puller, attach it behind the spare tire right there, attach the other end of the chain to that there engine and crank her in. And if it looks messy, like we're breaking fans and stuff, we don't really care. We have all that stuff extra. All right, it's like four o'clock, and it's time for this engine to come out of this van. Oh, I finally got it out. My dad had to leave and go to his doctor's appointment and I finished it without him But all I had to do since he left 
was uh, remove that torque converter and what a nightmare that was. This block and that transmission would not separate. Uh, there's an aluminum peg that goes in there from the transmission. Anybody who's worked in a tractor trailer shop you know that steel and aluminum do not combine very well. They create corrosion and uh, yeah there was so much corrosion in there that I couldn't split the block. And then we tried yoinking it out hoping that the torque converter would come out with the engine. It did not. It got jammed and I had to break the bell housing which doesn't really matter but whatever. Anyhow she's out. I'm totally exhausted. It's Sunday. It's about five o'clock and I'm getting way too old for this shit. I really need to start living like a normal person and take a day off. This going seven days a week doing stupidness like this is uh, gonna kill me young or keep me alive forever. I'm not quite sure. Anyhow, I'm gonna pack up these tools, slide that engine further to the front so she's not at the back lifting my bumper off the ground, go pay my buddy, and get the hell out of here. Yeah, and I have to go to the grocery store. Look at me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're going up the mountain. I don't know if my Chevy can make it. Oh shit, boys. We might have to dump the V8 off here. Oh yeah. Good to go. Anyhow, I had to do some things while I was in town with the trailer. And she's like, I don't know. 8 o'clock right now or something. Can't even see the trailer. Anyhow, we're cruising right now and we have the 4.8 liter V8 for the next Monster Astro van build and she's on the trailer coming home. I hear that Astro coming. It's coming around the bend. It hasn't seen a car wash since I don't know when. There she is. There she is. I see her boys. Don't worry folks, I'm not auditing your farm. I am not a farm auditor. I'm just a dummy who can't keep my vehicle on my own side of the fucking road. Yes I can, just not while I'm holding the camera and making videos. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, there's not a whole lot to say or show in this video. It's kind of sucky because I was in such a rushy that I didn't get to make content. So now I'm gonna have to smash into something or dump an engine off in an intersection or something for the content. We need that. Oh yeah. Well, that was a crazy day, but uh, as usual, it's mission accomplished. Full of the woods and I got her done. And if you're wondering where the intake is, it's in the back of the van because there was no room to take the engine out over the engine mounts with the intake on. It was a crazy day. We got stung by bees. Me, I got stung seven times, including one in the armpit, which really pissed me off. This here chain broke three times. This here chain puller flew across the trailer three times. What'd you think of that? Looks a hell of a lot better without a van wrapped around it. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. It sure does. Now you brought the starter. I thought it was... Yeah, it's yeah. broke. Uh, it does have a crack in it somewhere. Oh, yeah. It's got a crack! Howard didn't even charge me for the tow rope. It's all afraid and unable to tow. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm dirty. It's time to get a little bit dirty. I just walked in the door and it is 8.30. That is like a 13 hour day ladies and gentlemen and now I'm going to make a video. I am freaking filthy. Anyhow, comment, rate, subscribe, share the damn video, don't do anything we wouldn't do and stay tuned for the next one. Villains, I say to you now, knock off all that evil!